Are the Lakers going to bring back Jared Dudley for next season? So, let's just get talking about this. So, obviously, Jared Dudley is not on the team for his basketball ability, his scoring, all that. No, nah, there's no way he's on the team for that. His last real season where he was actually kind of productive was probably with the Brooklyn Nets in, was that 2018-19, I think? And he's been at the Lakers for two seasons already, so this would be his third season's with third season if he was to return to the Lakers next season and um, he's really just on the team chemistry wise good locker room guy and he's like I, I don't know how else to say he's a cheerleader like this video right now this is every single basket he's ever scored with the Lakers so yeah like the, it's it's like a three and a half minute long video so like come on guys like we know um, Jared Dudley is, is he's not known for is scoring with the Lakers right now, at least. Uh, so, if the Lakers do bring him back, obviously I'm not expecting them to bring him back and him be a huge part of the team. No, he's the last guy off the bench. He's probably even behind the two-way guys at some point coming off the bench. Like, that's how far down on the bench he is. But he is a very good bench guy. Uh, him and Quinn Cook in that championship year were both very, very important pieces in the locker room and on the bench. And he's basically like a player coach. Uh, similar to like a Udonis Haslam. That's how, who I would compare him to. So if you do bring him back, that's what you're expecting. If the Lakers have an open roster spot, like, I guess, uh, if they're not hard capped, then they can eventually waive him. So I guess if it's like, okay, we'll just sign him for now, but we're not hard capped, so we can keep giving out veteran minimums, we might as well just sign him right now, uh, get the team's chemistry all good, and then later on in the season, we'll use his spot for someone that can really contribute on the court. That's what I would like them to do, is if there's no one right now, then you keep him on the team. But I personally don't really want to use a roster spot on him anymore, uh, just because, I, I, I don't know, I just don't feel like it this season. Last season, I really wanted them to, and they did end up doing that. But now I just feel like this team, everyone knows their role, and everyone's okay with their role. Maybe the young guys, not as much, but like Carmelo and Trevor Ariza, all these guys, they're just like, well, let's just go get a championship. Like, that's what this is all about. So I definitely see them wanting to do that. Uh, so I don't really know if you need Jared Dudley as much as you did the other couple seasons. And also, uh, some of these guys are NBA champions as well. So it, I don't think you need them as much. So yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think the Lakers should bring back Jared Dudley for the third year? Uh, I just don't think so. But if you guys would, please just leave a like and subscribe and turn notification bells to all. That would be very much appreciated. And here's his last bucket as a Laker. Peace.